Welcome to Oak Harbor Public Library's CraftFid 19. We are going to do a series of 19 videos with projects you can do at home with materials you already have on hand. Should be fun. Something to do this summer. Our inspiration from our first project comes from just north of town at Lake Erie. And if you are not going to the beach and you live in Oak Harbor, you need to get there because it's beautiful. We're having a great summer. So you're going to need shells for this project. We're going to use the shells to make little trinket dishes. Uh, some different ideas that you can use these for, um, little jewelry trinkets. You can also use them for votives. Love that, line up some of these babies on the windowsill with some votives in them. You can also put your scrubby mabob thing from your, uh, from your kitchen in them if you use waterproof materials when we get over to the materials part or soap or whatever you wanna do. Okay, or you can display things in them like Lucky Stones. So besides the shells, other things that you're gonna need for this project are shampoo or some kind of hand soap. It actually works better than regular soap, dish soap to clean the shells because of the pH level. It gets all that organic material out of there. You'll need bleach or Coca-Cola for the nasty places. I prefer Coca-Cola because I can drink whatever I don't use and because it's safer than bleach. A dish pan or a shallow bowl to soak them in and scrub them in. You need a toothbrush for cleaning them, not your husband's. And uh, towels, rags, paper towels, something like that. Obviously, you keep the area clean. What you're going to put on the inside of the shelves is actually any kind of tissue paper, but paper napkins from the dollar store are really the way to go. I picked out these because they have a small pattern, a tight pattern. And since you're making something small, you obviously don't want a giant flower that you only see part of the flower. So some kind of detail. You can also choose to pick out a design that you'll just apply this part as opposed to covering the whole thing. You'll get more of an applique look with that. So I'll show you how to do that again to you today. You'll need Mod, Mod Podge or some kind of glue. Doesn't really matter what kind of glue as long as we get the consistency right. Um, Elmer's is just fine. Mod Podge is just fine. Uh, you'll need some scissors if you're cutting out a piece from your napkin. You'll need a paintbrush. It can be foam or fancy, whatever you want to use to apply the glue. You'll need sandpaper or an emery board to get the excess off the edges. And then in the final seed, you'll put a gold ring around the edge of your trinket tray with gold paint or gold leaf. So now that our shells are dry, we are ready to decoupage, my favorite crafting activity, by the way. Um, prep your surface, obviously, make sure you don't get anything on you, and choose your materials. We are going to use, sorry, it's not a Lake Erie shell, but it's easier for you guys to see today. I'm gonna choose a, a Lake Erie shell, and something to decoupage on it. We can use a napkin, we can use a stamp, or, or this is a little pineapple cut out of a napkin that I really liked, but for this particular one, we're gonna use this napkin. You're gonna have to play with it a little bit to kind of figure out where you're gonna want it, because it is obviously going to have to tuck back up in there, so you're gonna to need to kind of plan out the material a little bit. Gets a little messy, so get ready. So what I'm going to do here is plan where I want the main part that you'll see to be right about there. And I'm going to hold this, make sure it goes all the way back up in there so that when I glue it, it sticks. Now that creates some double layers back here. So now that I've kind of crimped it so that I can see where it's doubling up and I know where I'm going to be. I'm actually going to trim it just a little bit just to take out some of this extra paper because it will overlap in the shell. If this doesn't make sense, do a rough draft. Then you'll you can just kind of play with it. Guess what? If, if you mess up, there's plenty more fish in the sea. There's plenty more shells at the lake. And paper napkins. There we go. So that'll just create, uh, we'll create a little overlap there. All right, so let's get gluing. 
Um, I'm going to use Mod Mod Podge today. I'm going to use a matte finish. I went, ahead, I went ahead and poured some in a little whatever, Dixie cup, whatever you want to use, just so that I don't use the whole glue bottle. I picked out a handy dandy paintbrush. If your glue's too thick, if you're using wood glue or Elmer's, you might need to water it down a little bit. I think this is pretty good consistency right here. Again, if it doesn't work, go get another shell. All right, I've cleaned this guy, he's totally dry, and I'm gonna give this interior a really good layer of glue. Bada bing, bada boom. Better too much than not enough. And you don't want it so thin that it pools in the bottom. So if it's, if it's all run into the bottom, it's too runny. Start over. Even though you can't see it, you want to make sure you're getting glue all the way up in there so that it sticks well. I'm also going to just hit the rim a little bit. Any extra napkin left over, we will get rid of. So don't you fret. All right, so I've got a good layer of glue there. Here we go. Start. You want to make sure it's lined up, obviously, with where you, I creased a little bit the edge, so I know where my edge is. But start in the back here with this hole. Let the paper kind of put itself in place. You're going to touch it as little as possible because you don't want to wrinkle it. You don't want to keep hooching it around. Oops, I should turn it. So you're just going to kind of want to touch it as little as possible. I definitely want this little flowery part to be to be flat. Your goal is no bubbles, no creases, no imperfections whatsoever. I'm just kidding. Kind of got it in place. It's not perfect. There's a little bit of a bubble there. We'll show you how to fix that later. Let the glue just get a little bit tacky. So you're going to let this baby just dry. I'm talking like 20 seconds, maybe up to a minute if you've got a lot of Mod Podge, Mod Podge up there. Make sure everything's firm around the edges. Okay. Make sure you get glue all the way to the edges. Now you're going to put on your second layer of Mod, Mod Podge. So I've got it so that it's, it's in place. It's not going anywhere. That's how dry you need to get it. And now we're going to swap it with some more magical fairy dust here. Woo, baby! I like the blue and white ones I've created with shells from Lake Erie, the, the long shells, which you'll see here in a bit, with the blue and white because it looks like old China to me. Not China the country, China the blue stuff they eat off of. Or Dutch, I think they also have to do some Dutch, whatever. Again, get your paintbrush or your foam brush all up in there. It's okay if there's a little bit of creasing. No one's, no one's gonna die from a little bit of creasing. All right, you can see how much of a layer I got there. Some of this Mod Podge will go through the napkin of creating a bond but also make sure that you get the edge really well because you don't want it to flake off later so i'm also going to kind of boop boop that's the technical term you're going to boop boop it around here a little bit just to make sure that it's totally adhered hey by the way make sure you have enough glue ahead of time don't short change yourself Okay, so just play with that a little bit and then we're going to let it dry. Well, my crafty companions, let's take a look and see how everything went. So we last time we were here, we did goupage our shells and here they are. They came out just perfectly because that's what we planned, right? Um, now we are just going to take off this excess paper, put a gold ring around the rim, and have it come out perfectly. Just wait and see. 
right over here, let me show you a couple that are done. Here's one with the same pineapple cut out in it. I put a ring of gold, uh, just regular gold paint around the edge. And look at that baby. I know you wanna set that on your trinket shelf. And where's my other one that's done? Right here. This one also was a cutout. I'll show you the napkin that it came from. So these were the napkins that we cut out and used. And I kind of like these ones that have shapes on them. There's another one here. Because you can cut and put the shape inside of it. It's, it's just a different way to do it. On these ones that we did at first, obviously, that didn't happen. So what we're gonna do now is just sand away the edge and make these babies just as beautiful as they could possibly be. I'm gonna use a sanding block here. You can use an emery board, honestly. You can use, you can actually probably tear it off if you take your time. And if you had your glasses on, that would help. <laughs> if I had my glasses on, that would help. Yeah, this might just pop right off here. Well, that was pretty easy. Bet you weren't planning on just ripping it today. But look at that. Pretty close, right? I really don't have my glasses on, so sand, sand, sand. There you go. <laughs> Pretend that's sanded. And then over here, I have some that are ready to uh, da -da. put the gold on the edge. I also wanted to show you that I did try... This is a common Lake Erie shell. I'm sure you see these all the time. I tried putting decoupage on the outside of the shell to see how that would look. I think I got another one of these somewhere here. Oh, girls, if you if you have ever seen a cuter napkin, do you just please let me know? Because I'm pretty excited about these. Um, leopard print, whatever print napkins. And polka dots aren't bad. All right, so, ba da ba ba ba. Um, yeah, so all we're gonna do now is just take some gold paint, put it around the rim, and call it a trinket dish. As I said earlier, now we just, we're super simple. Um, when you're picking out a brush for this, don't pick out anything too hard. It'll probably work with a foam brush too. Let's give it a shot. If you do not have gold paint or gold leaf, guess what? These are called cheating devices, um, also known as fingernail polish. Some of the shells will have a, oops, I probably should have stirred this, will have a um, not smooth edge around them. Let me find one that's done. Oh yeah, so the edges of these shells obviously, ooh yeah, this isn't going well. I didn't stir the paint first. Um, Anne, will you stop it for a second? I should. So we're just going to take whatever kind of brush you're using and just put a teeny little edge on it. Don't make it too gloppy, my friends, because it will pour down into the shell. Now, I have to let this go on purpose. You see how, because this shell has grooves and an, and an uneven edge, it's kind of streaking a little bit. I, I actually did that on the other one and it did come out looking okay. If you don't want that to happen, we're trying. I put a handy dandy glob, probably too much of a glob on this guy of, I just hot glued around the edge. Whoopsie daisies. I hot glued around the edge to make a smooth surface. Let's see how it looks. And we are almost done. You guys, we're in the home stretch. Who is excited about their trinket dish? I don't know, that might actually be kind of fancy schmancy. Oh, 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 don't go there. All right, you get the gist. That might work too. So mm -hmm. we're gonna let these dry and then they're gonna look beautiful, just like yours. Hey, thanks for joining us for Crafted 19, session number one. See you next.